Hello, Nuggets. Okay, so a um, couple of things. So firstly, uh, I started work on the new script using that new system I mentioned, where I just I have a log line and then I just write, see where it goes. Uh, and I wanted to do a script in a week. Might have been a little aggressive. <laughs> uh, I only did three pages today. I mean, it's the beginning of the script, which is a lot harder. Once I get into scenes, it will pick up. Um, but I didn't anticipate how precisely I need to see things before I write them. So I'm not very good at just saying, oh, I'll fix that later. You know, I, I can do it to a certain extent, but I need to have something down. And if things don't connect, I feel that gap. I can't write through it right onto the next thing because it's just playing in my mind. So it slowed me down a little bit. I'm hoping it will pick up again. Um, I'm thinking maybe now that the script is started, I need to sleep on it and kind of start thinking about it when I go to bed, when I go to sleep, because that tends to help me, I think. I think in the morning I have better ideas. So anyway, only three pages today, but I wrote for a long time and I was in those three pages and they were uh, intense work. It's the beginning of the scripts. There's a lot of things to set up. Um, and it's a very, it's a heavy action sequence at the beginning. Um, so um, it's like a whole skateboarder sequence. So there's a lot of shots. I know I'm not supposed to be doing shots yet, but it's all part of the, the tone and the feel of the movie. Anyway, so there's that. Second thing is, so I had the reading of the play last night, of 10 pages of the play uh, Beast last night. Really interesting. So I was nervous all the way up until they started reading and then it went away, it was fine. Um, they asked me to narrate another person's piece, which really helped actually because although that piece came after mine, I was distracted enough because I was looking at what I was narrating, the stage direction. Um, I was focusing on that more than focusing on just worrying, you know. Uh, but it was interesting. So the reading went well. Everyone applauded. Everyone said, well done. They came up to me afterwards, said, well done. I feel that they do that with everyone. So, um, but what astounded me was so the way this works is you give them a, the script right however many copies needed for how many cast are in your 10 pages in my case three two cast and one for the stage directions the tiny few stage directions there were and then they cast it with who, whichever actors turn up and they do a really good job it's these two women rachel and vicky and they basically just um see who's in the building who's turned up for that uh, meeting uh, they go through the scripts, uh, you give them a bit of a characterization for each part, and then they think this person's good and whatever. So they cast it. I had nothing to do with it. I had no idea who was going to read it because I couldn't tell who had my script. You know, I didn't want to go walking around looking for it because it was my first time up, so you know, I was nervous. Um, what's interesting is there are two characters. There's Zero and Carter. The guy they got to play Carter is kind of what I would have chosen maybe a little different but you know same kind of thing the guy they chose to play Zero was completely out of left field for me and his interpretation was totally different to what I wrote um, but what happened was I thought my script was a little bit funny what happened was they laughed for all 10 pages <laughs> and not in a bad way it wasn't it wasn't ugly laughter you know it wasn't disgusted it was because his reading was uh, was kind of bizarre. <laughs> it was kind of weird, but I think that was his thing. That's the way he does things. It was almost um, Jeff Goldblum. Like it was like every sentence or Christopher Walken. Every sentence was a little bit different. He had an unusual cadence, and but it was kind of fascinating the way he chose to do it, and because of the way he read it, and because the character in the script is supposed to be wrestling with his own sanity he took that note to heart and everything he said was just odd and the audience fucking loved it <laughs> they were laughing all the way through um so i was kind of like blown away I, I didn't know what to do with that because when he first started reading my thought was oh this is not what i wanted and then after a couple of minutes i'm like oh but it's what they wanted so i don't know maybe that happens with every writer this was extremely different. Any writing I've done before, when someone's read it, you, you often feel they didn't quite get that right or they didn't read that right or, or some of their approach is different. What he did last night was out of left field. I don't know what he was doing. Yeah, it worked really well. So who knows? 
I don't know. It's weird. Laura asked me what I learned from it. I mean, I, I learned that, but I don't know what to do with that information. Um, I think I learned from it that it was really confident building, confidence building, even though I tell myself that, you know, they're, they're, they're being nice and they're saying it was good because that's the environment we're in, right? We're not in an environment where someone's going to come and say, I hated it. The only time they're going to speak to you is to say something nice. So despite all that, it really helped my confidence. I felt good about it, you know. I didn't mind if they were lying to me or if they were just saying it to be nice. It still made me feel good, you know. I thought it was really good to get the stuff out there. It's, again, thickening the skin. Um, and I got to hear lots of other writers, of course. We heard two amazing musicians. What was his name? Kiaran Lowery, or Lovery. C-I-A-R-A-N-L-O-V-E-R-Y, I think. Anyway, an Irish musician and a pianist. I don't know if they always worked together or what, but he was fantastic. The guy was great. Kind of reminded me of Glenn Hansard from Once, uh, or from the... Shit, what's his band called? The Swell Season? Storm Swell? Something like that. Anyway, he was fantastic. And all of the writing was really good last night. Um, it was really good. There's a guy who's writing... Uh, a play called Pucked, which is like a sequel to A Midsummer Night's Dream. And it's fantastic. It's very clever. Very clever. So, you know, the, 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 the quality was up there all the way through and the performances were up there all the way through. My one was just not what I expected. But I enjoyed it. Now I've got to figure out if, what I, if I want to do it again. I'll keep going to the meetings because I need to put back in. I, they've given me something, so I need to put back in. Uh, but part of me really missed having the honest feedback. It might have been honest, they might have liked it, but I needed criticism as well. You know, I needed something to, to help me develop the script more. Um, makes me think maybe I should be starting my own writers group. Laura's mentioned it a few times. She has a couple of writers, uh, and they're both women, which would really help. You know, uh, I work a lot better with women. Um, I enjoy their notes a lot more. I think they're usually a lot more direct, but in a kind way, and that just fits my personality. So, you know, because that's how I give notes. So it, it, it's, uh, and they're both good writers. So maybe that's what I need to do. But I'm going to keep going to this thing. Second Draft LA, again, is the name of it. They're always looking for actors and writers. It's a pretty big group. It's a really fun night. It's really fun. It's only an hour and a half. 8.30 till 10 downtown LA. Anyway, look it up. Um, I think that's just about it. It's pissing down with rain here. Uh, and I'm trying to figure out whether I'm done working for the day. It's four o'clock. I think so, because the cricket's on. <laughs> England are playing New Zealand in the test match. Um, yeah, that's it. Just thought I'd give you a little update. Make this one a short one. I'll see you tomorrow. Right, I guess. Bye.